Well, I woke up this morning just thanking and praising the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Revelation 22, 20. He that testifies these things saith. So Jesus Christ testifies the book of Revelation. Last words of Jesus. That's not what I, I mean. This, what we're talking about is the last word of Jesus. Surely I come quickly. That's, that's our desire. That's our hope. We'll look at it in a moment. Even, oh, amen. Surely I come quick, quickly. Amen. Some churches don't allow that. Amen. Even so, says John, come Lord Jesus. <clears throat> That's what we're talking about. Even so, come Lord Jesus. There's no exceptional cause there. There's no, well, I guess this coming up. I got that coming up. I got vacation plans. I, I, my job. But no. Jesus states, surely I come quickly. John's response, our response, amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. That's the attitude. That's what we're to have. Now we come over here to Titus. We'll see Paul. Titus 2.13. This is my life verse. Titus 2.13. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I guess the Jehovah Witnesses won't be too happy because they don't believe that Jesus is God and God is Jesus. But John says that Jesus, I come quickly. John says, amen, even so, come Lord Jesus. Paul says, looking. Now, where's the exceptional cause that, oh, I got this great event coming up? Well, you know, I got unsaved family members. Have you witnessed to them? I think sometimes people worry about their unsaved family members because they haven't been witnessing. John attitude, we'll go back over here again we'll look real quick, John's attitude is even so come Lord Jesus now Paul's attitude is looking for that blessed hope the next great event in the church age for the saved Christian is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and he's not coming to the earth he's going to meet us in the clouds is the rapture what we call the rapture of the church where we're called out of here the end of pain, misery, sorrow, suffering injustice First Thessalonians chapter 4 and let's, let's read the whole thing. Verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, unknowing, brethren, 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 save people, concerning them which are asleep that have died, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Those that don't have hope, we read in in Titus, those that don't have hope are those who have died without Jesus Christ, that died without the blessed hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. There's the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's beyond a simple prayer. If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, I do. Even so, then that ought which sleep in Jesus, they've died in Christ, they're saved, will God bring with him? For this we say unto you, that the word of the Lord, that which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them which are asleep. You're not going to stop 
You can put a dead body in a coffin inside of a concrete barrier. That's not going to stop them. <clears throat> no way. In verse 16. For the Lord himself, Jesus Christ, shall descend from heaven with a shout, and the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God. How's that? With the trump of God, I don't think it's Donald Trump. There are too many Christians that want the justice of Donald Trump rather than the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Resurrection. Those that are alive are going to see somehow the dead coming up. They came up after the resurrection of Jesus. Then we which are alive remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. To meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. It is a comfort. It is the blessed hope. It is the amen. The rapture of the church. It is to be a desire of wanting. A, come on, Lord, let's go. And until he comes, we are to remain on the battlefield. We are to be out there preaching the gospel. We are to be trying to grow Christians to the next age in the Christianity. We're to be busy with the intent. Jesus is coming. Every man out in the field, and I've been reading uh, biographies and stories of men who've been in combat. World War I, World War II, Civil War, and all that. And they're out there in the trenches. And they have a desire. They're out there fighting. And they're waiting one day to get to work. The war is over. That's the rapture of the church. The war is over. Jesus has called us home. But I got this going on. And that's too more important than what is for Jesus. It's too important for the worship of God. And in Isaiah, verse 42, 42 verse 8 go there Isaiah 42 verse 8 I am the Lord that is my name my glory will I not give another and if you want something more important than the rapture you are giving glory to that event rather than hey amen Jesus is coming That's my hope of, uh, uh, of this life. That I could possibly see the rapture of the church alive. Or if I die, I'm going to go up still. Dead or alive, I'm not going to miss the rapture. But hey, this life is miserable. This life is terrible. This life is full of veils. This life is pain and suffering. This life is just unfair. This life, this world is just ungodly. Get me out of here. But, until the Lord calls us, stay busy. Keep going. Read the Bible. Study the Bible. Witness. Pray. But keep your eyes on Jesus. And keep your eyes on Jesus means, oh, yeah, okay, the rapture. But, you know, the amusement park plan that we have at the end of the year. Well, that cruise we're going to take... I want to buy a house. I want to advance myself in a career. I want to get married. I, 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 well, what about mom and dad or my bro? Get out there witnessing to them. Well, they haven't got saved, but
What are you going to say? Did you see any exceptional causes? Well, you know, I'm going to get married. There's coming a great marriage beyond all marriages when the church marries the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you know, we're going to, yeah, there's coming a great move too when we move from this earth to New Jerusalem. What an advancement. Well, you know, we, we got that amusement park. Yeah, we got a great amusing coming pretty soon. We've got a life without sin, without pain for anything, of complete enjoyment, complete, complete joy and happiness and blessfulness to be with God the Father and God the Son and God the Lord Jesus Christ for all eternity. What crews or... or Entertainment Park can do that. Friends, as we go through this Christian life, and you're, I'm talking that you're serving the Lord and you're doing right. Many Christians are not. That's why they don't want the rapture. That's why they don't think about the rapture. But we're to be on the battlefields. The Christian life is a battlefield. And the rapture, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the war is over. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, John said. And Paul says, look into that blessed hope. And in Titus, we'll go back to Titus 2.13. No, not Titus. We want... 1 Thessalonians 4.18 Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. The rapture is to be. Amen! Hey, where is it? Is it coming? Hey, where is it coming? Here. I know we got troubles and problems. I know we got all kinds of things. I know the world doesn't want to hear it. I know Christians are on the, on the, the vein of the world and smooching with the devil and all that. But you know what? What? Jesus is coming. Amen. Let's go. Let's get busy. Let's go in the fields. It's to make us even more get busier. Because he's coming. And when he comes, I don't want him to find me lazy. I don't want to find I don't want him to come and find me worldly. When Jesus comes and he's coming. I'm going to look for him. It's going to be my hope. It's going to be my, my amen. It's going to be my comforting. I want to make sure when Jesus comes, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing if I have not died. When I die, he's coming anyway. Glory to God in the highest. Jesus is coming and nothing and nothing and no one and no one should take that joy away. And you should never say... And you're a Christian, well, oh, I hope Jesus waits. A little longer, Jesus. No, 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 no. You're backsliding. You're backsliding. 